Do you want to know my strategies for long-term clinic growth? That's what we're dealing with today. Hi, my name is Mark Bentz and I'm the owner of one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. I started the virtual CEO because I wanted to take clinic owners from overworked, underpaid, to living life on your terms and a clinic that is extremely profitable. First strategy, set big goals. I can't tell you how many people I talk to and their goals just aren't big enough. They're just not. And the reason we do that is because we go, well, I don't really know if I'm going to make it. Well, here's the answer. Who knows? Nobody knows. No one knows what happens in five minutes. But you got to know in your heart you can do it. That's the key. Don't think, oh, it couldn't happen, might not happen. Fuck it. It's going to happen for you. So set them bigger than you can possibly imagine. That is absolutely key. And bring clarity to those goals. We talked about this in the previous video. But clarity is king. So if you have a financial goal, write it down for the year. Write it down for the month. Write it down for the week. Write it down for the day. Very important. Now, another thing if it's a financial goal, don't just use gross income. If you have a set amount of money that you want to make yourself, because you're only taking home net income, that's after every bill is paid. So write it down, net income. Every day, every week, every month, every year. It absolutely does come true, but you have to have them down. Now, number two, which goes along with that, is that you need to batch them, so block them into uh, achievable uh, goals. So when you say, oh, you know what? My goal is to have 10 therapists. Okay, what 10 therapists do you need? Is it two physio, two massage, uh, three chiro, two acupunctures? What is it? It's not 10 therapists. Be brutally specific. Maybe it's 10 physiotherapists. Okay, great. Then you block it up, batch it up into chunks, and you say, okay, I need two physiotherapists uh, in the first uh, three months. Because again, when you're adding people, if it is exactly you know, for using therapists, um, you have to incrementally add them. You're not gonna add 10 today. It's absolutely impossible. It doesn't work out that way. So you need to block it up, batch it up, and say, hey, I'm gonna add one therapist um, in May. I'm gonna add one therapist in June. I'm gonna add another therapist in August. I'm gonna add another therapist in October. And you set it out. The goals are clearly defined because there's a thing, your reticular activating system in the back of your head, when you set the goal, it, it will automatically go for it. Your conscious thoughts, your subconscious thoughts will be absolutely laser focused on that. And so that's why the clarity and then the chunking of it is very important because if it's too big, it's hard for the brain to attach itself to. But if you say 10 therapists and the first goal is one therapist and that's in May, then you can laser focus on that. Just go for it. And so very, very important is make it in a chunkable, tolerable um, amount. Third thing is delegate. So you might say, Mark, delegate? I'm the only person. It's me and one other therapist that I brought on. Okay, well, delegation is you. But you may be able to hire someone on contract. So maybe you can delegate some of the social media because you got to get the message out for a new therapist um, with a contractor that maybe works five hours a week. They don't need to be a full-time person. But the most important thing is you got to build a team. Without a team, it's hard to win. Now, of course, you want to be a solo practitioner and that's your business. Well, I guess you'll win. You'll be a solo practitioner and no problem. But I'm talking to clinic owners and typically clinics have multiple therapists and other staff to support those therapists. And that's a team. And in a team, you have to delegate duties, you have to evaluate what's been done, and then you have to retrain to make sure that everybody's following the direction so you're all creating the outcome that 
is expected of the team. Okay, so back to the basics. Three of them, set big goals, right? Two, break it down. Can't tell you how important that is. Break it down. That's where the RAS in the back of your brain puts a laser focus on it. And then three, delegate to the team. It's amazing what the team will do. I mean, God, I got such an amazing team. I say a few things, we hash it out, we figure it out. Boom, it goes out to the right person. Things get done. It's mind blowing what we can do now to what we used to be able to do. Okay, guys, get out there and take action.